At this place in history, we're at Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park in Woodstock with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, what brings us here this week? So, Mike, we're at a really beautiful and interesting place that gets into the history of conservation and land management, farming, and all sorts of stuff. Um, and really, a gift to the nation. Frederick Billings buys the property from the Marsh family. He's inspired by George Perkins Marsh's book, Man and Nature. So after Frederick Billings passes away, the property will go to his wife, Julia, and she'll manage it for about 24 years. And then it's really her daughters that do a lot to continue the legacy of their father's work. And so the three daughters, Laura, Mary, and Elizabeth, Laura will learn accounting and agriculture and help manage the farm down the street. Uh, Mary does a lot of work with the Young Women's Christian Association. She actually is a member of the national board. The youngest daughter, Elizabeth, actually studies botany. She goes to school at Barnard College in New York. She'll collect over 1,200 specimens of plants from around the area and eventually have a type of fern named after her, recognized by the New York Botanical Society. This property is one of the oldest managed forests in the United States. And so when Billings family lived here, they were replanting, they were reforesting the area because Vermont was about 80% deforested. And so once the property gets to be reforested, the, the women of the family start to experiment with different types of gardens. There's fern gardens, there's formal gardens, Victorian style gardens as well. And so they're using a property as a sort of a scientific experiment. How did it get come into the Rockefeller family and then ultimately become a, a U.S. park? Frederick Billings' granddaughter is named Mary French, um, and she will marry Lawrence Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller of Standard Oil Company fame's grandson. But it stays within the Billings family. This is a Billings family home. This is Mary's family home. And so they recognize the importance of this place in the conservation movement in the United States, so they'll give it back to the people in 1992. And then we open our doors in 1998. We're very pleased right now to have Rick Kendall, the superintendent here at Marsh Billings Rockefeller, uh, joining us. Now, Rick, what kinds of things did Lawrence Rockefeller and Mary Billings French have in mind for the property when they made the gift? This park was actually sort of the culmination of a lot of learning that they had done and having been involved in a variety of other national park projects. The uh, Billings property here includes not only the National Park, but the Billings Farm and Museum. Rather than give the entire thing to the National Park Service, Lawrence split them up, but uh, only gave the forest to the National Park Service, which means in order to tell a, an effective and full story of the conservation history here, we have to work with partners. The uh, carriage roads and trails uh, have an easement on them that is owned by the Woodstock uh, Inn. And, uh, that makes it so that the National Park needs to work with the local business community. There are uh, several uh, conservation easements on lands that are important to our view shed, that we don't own the land, but we own an easement that preserves the land. So the National Park then has to go and work with private landowners in the conservation community as well. So there's lots of different ways that Lawrence sort of uh, baked partnerships into how we do our business here at the park. Our park is open from Memorial Day weekend to October 31st. Um, our grounds stay open year round, but they will turn into cross country and snowshoe trails in the winter. Um, people are free to come and explore here, explore the trails, learn about the site. We have guided programs that people can sign up for as well. And all of that information can be found on our website, nps.gov backslash MABI. A gift to the nation from the Billings and Rockefeller families at this place in history. This 